Let us share very important update and information regarding adenovirus which is now dominating health concern for children below 10 years and elderly citizens above 50 years. Experts state that acute respiratory infection typically lasts for 5 to 7 days, with fever persisting for up to 3 days and cough lasting for up to 3 weeks in some cases. The National Center for Disease Control NCDC, has stated that the majority of acute respiratory infection cases are caused by the H3N2 influenza virus. The Indian Medical Association IMA, also released a statement explaining that it is common to experience seasonal cold or cough between October and February due to influenza and other viruses. Upper respiratory infections with fever are common in people over 50 and under 15, and air pollution can exacerbate the condition. The IMA recommends giving only symptomatic treatment for these infections and avoiding the unnecessary use of antibiotics. Many people tend to take antibiotics without following the correct dosage or frequency and stop taking them once they feel better. This can lead to antibiotic resistance, which is a growing problem. The Indian Medical Association IMA advises individuals to avoid crowded places to reduce the risk of infection. By the age of 10, all children are likely to have experienced at least one episode of adenovirus infection. This virus usually causes a mild flu-like illness that resembles the common cold. However, it can also lead to other symptoms such as conjunctivitis, fever, diarrhea, including vomiting and loose stools. In some cases, adenovirus can cause severe illnesses such as pneumonia, which can result in breathing difficulty and require hospitalization. In younger infants, it may cause bronchiolitis, characterized by cough, fever, and breathing difficulty. In rare cases, adenovirus can affect multiple systems in the body, including the heart resulting in myocarditis and cardiomyopathy kidneys leading to nephritis or cystitis and brain resulting in meningoencephalitis. Kids who are at higher risk of adenovirus Health specialists told media that the kids who are born preterm or with lower birth weight, children with reduced immunity or immunodeficiency, and those with kidney problems or heart diseases are at a higher risk of developing adenovirus. Spread of adenovirus Adenovirus usually spreads from one infected person to another through personal contact such as shaking hands or touching, coughing or sneezing through droplets and touching an object or surfaces which may be touched by another person. Prevention Frequent hand washing with soap and water. Wearing a face mask while in crowded areas. Avoid unnecessary touching of mouth, nose and eyes. Avoid handshake with an infected person. Sneezing and coughing into the elbow to avoid transferring the virus into the palms. Avoid contact with an infected person. When you are sick, protect others. Stay home when you are sick. Wear a mask to stop the spread. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. Avoid sharing cups and eating utensils with others. Frequently wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Treatment There is no specific antiviral medication that has been proven to be effective in treating adenovirus infections. As a result, treatment is usually symptomatic, with hospitalization and oxygen support required for some patients depending on the clinical presentation. Ensuring adequate hydration of the patient is also important, and maintaining personal hygiene is crucial. Use of PCR techniques Adenovirus is now being detected more frequently through nasopharyngeal swab testing. Last but not the least, it's always be cautious and there's old proverb prevention in better than a cure. Stay safe, stay protected.